Okay, I've just received this um, tripod. Here it's called Evolution TM3110 and I'm gonna show you this in a second, but first thing first, um, it is in this little bag and um, it says here that it is 440 grams, but actually it is 358 grams with the pouch, with the holder for actual um, camera, uh, smartphone, and it's lighter. So that's pretty good. That's a good start. Now, what's actually in the bag? So the bag itself, this little uh, tripod, and then this little kind of janky um, sort of phone holder. So let's test it. Okay, here's an actual um, tripod. And just for the comparison, this is the size of an iPhone uh, 6s so it's like a couple sizes of this and um, yeah this locking mechanism locks in place um, this little section that can rise the handle um, does this the handle sort of locks in place this particular part then this little part locks in place left and right rotation and this little lock sort of does this if you want to film sideways essentially it's pretty decent actually um the quality uh it's pretty bad in terms of like it's it's really flimsy i can feel like, like if i sort of press hard enough i can like bend this metal because it's super thin super hollow compared to like Like, I mean, it's not even a comparison, really. Also, something to keep in mind is that this particular thing doesn't really, this particular uh, plate, it's not really quick release plate. You can't quick, quick release this. Um, so you need to screw the quarter inch essentially all the time, or you need to buy like additional uh, quick release plate that you can mount here. But this little thing, this right here, it is rubber and actually when it is mounted with this little holder it sits pretty well like yes it can move but like if you tighten it good enough it, this rubber does something for sure it sits pretty well on this particular so this little combination like you can quite securely put the phone here i'm not sold on this holder itself but this little mounting solution it's pretty okay for the price so the tripod by itself is 320 grams and this little piece is 18 grams. Just a little flap that goes essentially like that. There's a couple springs inside. Also very plasticky, very cheap thing. Um, plus it doesn't really have that much contact area right here, but it has a um, quarter right here. So that's, that's decent. We'll see, I think I'm gonna probably, and it's it's got some pad right here and some little rubbery thing right there. I think I'm gonna be probably replacing this thing, most likely, but I decided, well, the hell, why not? It comes with this package already, so let's just try it. You can see this mechanism up close. It is essentially just a couple, uh, couple sort of, Nuts, couple bolts that lock everything in place. Very, very cheaply built, uh, especially the hinges and all the all the actual mechanisms. And y if you're buying it for a video, forget about it. Like you will not be able to pan smoothly, pan it left and right, like you can, for example, on this felbon. Like this, this motion, or this move, not possible on this little guy. But um, I bought it for. I think what it was, five dollars. So this whole thing cost me five dollars, and for just a little on the table sort of iPhone holder, I think it's pretty decent actually. For five dollars, I mean, there's even this little level right here, which is, I mean, it's pretty nice that they have it there. So yeah, I think for the price of five dollars, something like this, even though it is really cheaply built, and even though it's 
like not super great really i mean it's all right it's got similar mechanism uh, with these clips so essentially you unclip it like that and you can do this and um it can get it can get reasonably high like i wouldn't want anything on these legs heavier than a phone because look at the size of this compared to the size of this like you can like you can see how it bends already <laughs> just under its own weight um but yeah it can get to what whatever it is like it can get to essentially one meter so that's pretty decent it says on the box that maximum um payload is 1.5 kilos but i doubt it and if you are interested this is the uh, who, whoever made this frankly there are a million um, worse ways how to spend like five dollars so i think as as long as you kind of know that this is like very flimsy and you shouldn't really open these uh sort of legs too often uh, because these clips will probably break um yeah it's a little decent thing that can be pretty compact and you can just throw in your like carry bag essentially and if you want uh, to essentially film something like outside make a quick um, time lapse sort of um, in the nature or something like that on your on your phone um this this is a really good little tool uh, but yeah i wouldn't definitely wouldn't extend it um to the height of this um uh, of this uh, bigger uh, tripod i would probably use like maybe like this section maybe two sections i wouldn't ever uh, use the the smaller last sort of legs like the tips of it because it's like way too flimsy but overall yeah it's flimsy but it's also light like this thing weighs like 2.5 kilos i think or something like that um and it's not particularly compact so you don't really carry it around and what's beautiful with um phones and with like little stuff like that is that they weigh almost nothing and uh, yeah you can simply use them these little things by the way these little extenders that hold in place legs essentially um they are like heavy duty metal on these it's like chunky pieces of uh, metal and here it is uh it's plastic so also something to keep in mind but again um as as long as you kind of know that it's all sort of cheap plastic and it's pretty flimsy and very thin aluminum um it's all right uh, like i'm saying there are like million uh, ways how to spend five dollars uh you know way worse manner than this so again thumbs up for this little thing and uh, yeah see you next time